Today, we're gonna to talk about heat exhaustion in your dog. The signs that you need to look for that he may be in distress. Gross, the Doberman. Pincher. He might just be overheated. A big dinosaur mouth. Look how beautiful his mouth is. You can get your head in that. <laughs> We all love our dogs, but Dobermans in particular are very, very sensitive to heat and cold for that matter. Dogs are not as efficient at releasing heat as we are, therefore they can become overheated really quickly and can be in an emergency situation within a matter of minutes. Knowing what to do for your dog when he overheats could be the difference between life and death. Never take a chance with your dog. If it seems like he may be overheating while you're exercising or you have him outside, stop, take a break, get him to the shade, let him cool off a little while. While Coco was a vet assistant, she saw lots of sad stories People who really loved their dog and didn't realize it was too late. They waited until the dog was in advanced stages of heat exhaustion or having a heat stroke and not responding to what they said. Hopefully this video helps. There's some signs you can look for whether your dog is going to become heat exhausted uh, or if it's just overheated. Uh, one is some quick panting, of course he's going to do that. And then you look for gums, if his gums are overly red or if they're uh, turning blue on him and his aren't his are nice and pink his gums are nice and pink if he becomes disoriented or confused um, uh, that's a sign of heat exhaustion or uh, just overheated uh, his urine if he stops peeing very much if he's just peeing small small amounts uh, you gotta uh, watch for his pee too Now, as it becomes more serious, uh, you may start noticing black, tarry stools or even blood in the stool. Uh, so you want to look for that. Now, if his temperature, now we have a little thermometer that I can take his temperature with, but if his temperature reaches over 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 degrees Celsius, uh, that's a sign to worry. So keep all these things in mind. Now, as it gets more serious, there are things that you really can't detect straight off, kidney failure, you know, renal failure, that kind of stuff that you need to go to a vet for. But these are the signs that you need to look for before you take him to a vet. Now, after he's cooled off a little bit, uh, he's been in the house, I'm out here with the water hose going to hose him down. Now, this is not cold, cold water. The uh, water's been in the hose for a little bit. So, uh, it's a little bit warm, so I'm going to give him a, a kind of a warm bath, and just the cooling effect of the water should help him a lot. Things you can do for your overheated dog. Get a wet towel, put some cool water on it, put it on him. Let him have some nice cool towel between his legs, under his neck. Let him lay down with it. He's probably gonna be tired and slow moving if he's exhausted. Anyway, it'll be easy to do to get this wet towel on him, cool him down. You wanna make sure he has plenty of room temperature water to drink. Not ice cold from a cooler or anything like that, just room temperature. So don't take any chances. Uh, if you think he may have heat exhaustion or heat stroke or something going on with him heat related, take him to the vet, get him checked out. And it's a good idea to, to check these signs and check his temperature and, and give him a good look over. But if he has these signs and something going on with him, you don't cool him down fast enough and he doesn't get back to normal uh, pretty fast, take him to the vet. Don't take any chances that he's went into some kind of serious medical condition because he got too hot. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,